Hello, I'm going to do Gobi Manchurian today, and it's an extension of uh, Gobi 65. It's a wonderful dish. For that, I'm going to take um, the Gobi Manchurian that I froze last time. That is from the last video that you saw. I'm going to reheat it uh, in a toaster for about, I don't know, 5 10 minutes, maybe 10 15 minutes under 400 degree Fahrenheit. So, yeah, you can listen to my voice now. These onions that are cut like this into cubes. Don't chop it fine. Make sure it's this big, all right? Then I have green chilies. You can add one or two, it's up to you. Not more than two for that quantity. Even two is gonna be really spicy, but I'm gonna take it with curd rice. This goes really well with fried rice, fried noodles, and uh, anything else you can think of. This is dry. Gobi Manchurian, by the way, so and ginger. And uh, I'm just trying to show off my blade skills. And the ginger. <laughs> With the ginger and the garlic. It's kind of blurred, but yeah, you get to see what I'm doing. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> I love my cleaver. So there you have minced ginger. I'm gonna mince some garlic as well because I like to feel the ginger and garlic in this dish. You know, it's not just the flavor, feel the same old thing. By the way, we're gonna need this sauce too, chili sauce and tomato sauce. We're not gonna use a lot, but it's optional by the mean. Not really optional, if you want to get that restaurant taste, you better add those. So that's, that should be enough, yeah. It's more than enough actually. I'm just gonna take a little more garlic out of it. Yeah, that should be enough. And that's the basic ingredients I'm having. Next, as you see, you're gonna take a small portion of capsicum, get rid of the seeds, and cut it into cubes, as you can see. Cubes, yeah, and uh, I'm just gonna add a little more of that. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, you do need to have the pan really hot. I mean, you're going to cook the whole thing in high temperature. You're not going to reduce it at any point. I mean, if you have um, your regular propane stove, it's good to have it in high flame. Electric stove, 10, I mean, um, 9, or the max. So you're going to drop uh, yep. ginger, garlic, and green chilies first, as always. You're going to saute it for about 40, 40 seconds, maybe. I've obviously hated it. And then the capsicum, and then you go in. Toss it a bit like that, saute it maybe for, um, I don't know, maybe a minute. That's a Jinomoto Chinese salt, regular salt. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the onion's half cooked. I mean, it's not brown yet. The same with capsicum. It should be half cooked, partially cooked. That's it. That's soy sauce. That's the regular Chinese seasoning that I had. Maggie Chinese seasoning. Um, if you don't have that, you can probably add um, Chinese garlic sauce. If you don't have anything of that sort, you can leave it aside. It's alright. Next to that, I'm adding uh, chili sauce. It's about half a teaspoon or maybe one teaspoon. Depends. Next, that I'm adding ketchup. Once again, the same, one teaspoon or one and a half teaspoon. Depends. Once again, what I mean by depends is the quantity of uh, gobi 65 that you're gonna add. The overall quantity that is. Gobi, the cauliflower has been reheated. Right there, I just. Uh, took the Gobi 65 pieces of florets out of uh, the toaster. It's pretty hot now. And crispy. Really crispy. So you can stir fry it for about 5-10 minutes. It's still going to be crispy. This is really dry. You want it a little lighter. So this is where you got to decide whether you want it like that. That is, you know, crispy yeah, Gobi 65 mixed with uh, sautéed vegetables or 
you want to let the Gobi 65 flavor mix a bit with the whole mixture. So this is what I'm going to do. That is, I'm going to add a little water. Even though you call it rice Gobi Manchurian, you have to add a little water so that the flavor mixes back and forth. That is, you know, the flavor from the vegetables, the ginger, garlic, get into the Gobi you know, 65 and vice versa. So this is just to have a close look at what's happening. So yeah, you just keep stir frying it for about a couple of minutes maybe. Coriander leaves. That's some uh, cilantro, coriander leaves, parsley, whatever you want to call it. If you have fresh parsley, that's fine. If you have frozen parsley, that's fine too. If you don't have any, that's fine too actually. There are little things that you just try to add flavor with. So that's it, you transfer it to a, a dish and that's, that's the end of it. It's a wonderful dish. You'll like it. This is me, Suresh, signing off. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.